guys, Bowie here, and this is how Heimar players use Aeon Disc, and this is only a part one of a bigger series. A lot of people, when they think about Aeon, they remember about the 70% Dispel slash Immortality that you get, and that's a big part of the item. So let's talk about it first. For instance, in this game here, the 6k MMR Enigma decides to build Aeon Disc against Bane, Terror Blade, and Tiny. So even with BKB, Terror Blade can just right-click the Enigma down mid-black hole if he doesn't actually get caught. Tiny can also jump Enigma and probably burst him down, even if he has BKB being the inventory just because of how fast Avalanche is and there's also Fiend's Grip from the Fog or Evader Lands so there's a lot of very annoying stuff for Enigma to deal with. So he gets one after BKB and Blame Tiger. In this clip here, having Vision of Bane and Terror Blade, he can Black Hole with no fear since even without the Aeon Disc that would be an easy one with no counterplay, but he gets unlucky. Something important to point out about Aeon Disc is the status resistant part of the eye. Having 25% of it means that Fiend's Grip lasts 1.25 seconds less than normal, stuff like Sky Ref Sanuses or Slow will also last significantly less, and that can make or break teamfights sometimes. Here, Enigma ends up being on a bad spot to try and save his frame from Bane, but the E on disc allows him to disengage from Terrorblade. This is probably the biggest clip in favor of E on disc this game. Enigma black holes pretty much only for a Skyref. thanks to Terror Blade Sunder, and then something happens. Tiny re-engages with Io, but his Eon Disc triggers. He doesn't disengage, he doesn't live, but watch the end result. Dyer is forced to overcommit, Io dies, and while Enigma was checking his allies' ranks or muting them, Tiny dies as well, which means that his suboptimal black hole doesn't get punished at all. So I guess you can say that Eon Disc is also pretty good against Blink Dagger heroes in general, you know, they have to kinda hard commit when they go for something, and if your Eon Disc procs when they go, then a lot of the times they don't have a way out, here Tiny had Shadow Blade but gets punished regardless. In this Brewmaster game, the Eon Disc comes as a direct response to the Nullifier that Radiant has. In fact, Monkey King also has one and thanks to it, the Nullifier from Clinks gets wasted, allowing them to win this fight pretty easily. In this game, we see Tiny in the enemy team again, a hero with a lot of burst damage that can jeopardize Primal Split from being cast. The extra status resistance against high level global silence is also great to have. But the most important part about the item is having a response to the global plus nullifier combo. Something that a lot of the times, not only Lincoln's would be the answer, but with Clinks having Orchid, even that would be too expensive and ineffective. We see Aeon Disc not only allowing him to cast his second Primal Split during this siege here, but at the end of the day, it wastes so much time from Radiant, whilst saving the panda boy. This is another brew game with similar heroes. Fiend's Grip and Nightmare are very long duration, and the status resistance heal helps Brew survive even without the cooldown, as Nair also lasts a lot. Lasso plus Clinks or Terror or Bane could kill him, so you get the idea. You have this important hero slash skill, and you're against burst damage or long disables or both. The item is not foolproof though, as Triple C tries to kill a Terror Blade Illusion here after winning a fight, which procs the Aeon Disc, and he ends up dying for no reason later on. You need to be very careful with the item, especially when you're under farmed and you take a lot of damage from anything. One of the problems with Aeon Disc is that a lot of the times if you're not the center of the fight or not the person playing ahead of everyone, the item can feel pretty flat. For instance, they initiate on Life Sealer, and while SCCC is able to ult, the item procs randomly during reflection, which at the end of the fight means he dies and his team loses the fight.
I'm a big fan of having a Vlad's FD on this, this game because it means that Brew is able to stay at a healthy HP threshold, but this is another fight where we can see the item being underwhelming. There's no denying that this is a good E on this game, the thing is that the item is inherently unreliable. I'm not saying the item is bad and he actually wins the game, but it's very common to see it being a little meh, especially when you're behind because the enemy team have the luxury to just ignore you, and that was not the case for the Enigma on the first game or the Radiance Brewmaster in the second game. Well guys, this is it for today, hope you enjoyed this quick video, I will be casting PGL Bucharest, the Arcana is going to be given away, actually there's going to be another Arcana given away at the end of PGL Bucharest, so if you don't care about shitty casts, please tune in, and yeah, that's pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed the video, bye.